Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Bro Talk. My name is NRM Chibika Alexander, aka Simply Bro. This is going to be very short because not only am I um, having sore throat and um, I don't know how to explain. Nose blockade sounds like the perfect way to say it. <laughs> yeah, it is the best thing, yeah. Not only that I am sick, I also have to. I bought Football Manager in 2024 and I have to test it out. So, yeah. Also, tomorrow is my sister's birthday and I want to use this medium to wish her a happy birthday. So, I have to also go, you know, write a few lines, maybe an epistle for her to tell her how much I love her. So that's and I also have to rewatch Army of Thieves. And if there's still enough time, also continue from where I stopped um, Suits season four. Which I have a lot of things on my table, but you guys are more important to me than every of those things I mentioned. Even more important than my health. So that's why I'm recording this. Okay, let's get straight into the show. The international break is over, and Chelsea versus Arsenal. Uh, very nice game. I didn't watch the game, but I had to like catch it again after the match. And yeah, it was a very nice match. I followed on social media, and during that time, I was like, okay. Then we scored the first goal. I was actually outside when I heard people shout, and I heard because the Nigeria has like um, one of the highest population of Chelsea fans in Africa, and um, people like were just by the both side so they stopped and they were watching i saw like some guys gagging over your phone and i heard them shouting penalty penalty we were like oh it's not penalty it's not penalty and then i heard them shout like oh they're keeping it and then they shouted to the goal and i got notification from my phone pa, 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 from different apps and telegram and x commonly known as twitter and everywhere i was just getting notification i was like okay we scored we scored against us now wow we've not won against us now in, um, in ages especially at Stafford Beach, and i was like Maybe we are going to change it out today. I was very excited and then module score. I was like, let me go to Twitter again to check and I saw with module go. I was like, oh module against Arsenal. Wow. The greatest script writers will not have written something like this. I was so excited as many Chelsea fans were. And the goal, when I saw the goal, the week up, I was like, oh my god, this goal is out of this world. I was so excited. Then I decided to also go up. Because I was like, maybe if I'm checking the update we are going to concede after the 70 something minutes i was like okay maybe we are not going after 70 minutes i was like okay maybe we are not going to concede again and then we conceded and when we considered it was when i came online so i came back to twitter and i was like okay let me check my notification let me check my i just check i saw who the finalized i was like oh my god i think we're complaining robert sanchez robert sanchez robert sanchez i was like what did he do i could not get um any highlights of the goal that's okay I said, let me leave totally and when i decided to come back again to check that was when i got they scored i said oh no we bottled it again like oh i was so angry i was so pissed i was so, i don't know but there were positives from the game the fact that we are scoring now and modric has looked like a new player not just modric i saw i went back to watch um, the highlight of um a match against burnley and i saw like sterling look like a new player look like a new player for us and Modric is also looking like a new player and Cole Palmer is also playing and we are waiting on players like Nkunku coming back from injury I think Gallagher looks like a completely new player 90% of Chelsea fans were hitting on him before the start of the season but I think now a lot of us are like taking a back seat and, back seat and saying okay Maybe he isn't that bad. Then we have Kaiser also pulling his own string. We have Thiago Silva ever solid at the back, but then we have Robert Sanchez almost on doing all the good works. And Robert Sanchez, I'm quite, I don't know how to describe him. Um, the reason why I'm pissed with him is because we've seen this thing, we've seen it with players like Kepa. They have a string of good performances, they win. If you say I can win save of the month against Aston Villa. Robert Sanchez did the same thing, save of the month against Aston Villa. Like 
then you have a very bad game after that and you have another bad game and you have another bad game like why not just be consistent you can't just be consistent now so that's why i'm pissed with him i'm pissed with robert sanchez be consistent man be consistent that's the only thing we ask for consistency but no you try to just have fun trading games be good this game be bad the next game in fact makes make um work class saves in this game and then make a very stupid error in the next game so i'm a very pissed but then i also see i know that you are also seeing the positives and i think positive how outweighs the negatives at least you didn't lose to us now we are not a small team to be thinking that way but i think if you want to look at the realities of things you have to lower expectation we are chelsea yes i know that but sometimes you have to just raise up your hand and say we are in a deep mess and we need to come out clean and you want to really clean your mess you have to start from the ground up you have to make mistakes you have to make mistakes now we realize that oh we need a better keeper maybe our attacking play is now a bit better and we don't need a, an influx of players in January because we have not coming back and that maybe I don't know what to do in general, but you look at our goalkeeper and goalkeeping department and I say, okay, maybe we need a goalkeeper, a better goalkeeper. If you solve that issue, I think I think we solve 90% of our issues because we are seeing that oh, that's a very weak point. That's our weakest point or weakest link in the team. So let's sort that out. But that is how you go. You move around and then you say, oh, this is are the places where I need to like patch. And then when we patch the goalkeeping goal, not patch, we look for a perfect permanent solution. Discover that oh maybe our attack our right wing something we just look for and that oh this is our biggest thing now then we try to correct that so that's it so yeah that's that for this episode I'm really happy that we are on the right path and I'm not coming here to scream about how poorly we are playing we are playing well we are playing beautiful football it just wasn't our day yesterday well yeah we are Chelsea we always keep the blue flag by in hand. Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms at Simply Broad, S Y M P L I B R O D D on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, everywhere. Okay, what am I doing? But well, you know. So follow me and let's take the conversation over there. Until next time, keep the blue flag flying high.